I'm so glad to have this opportunity today to be with you here on this Thursday of the holiday week between Christmas and New Year's. And let me just say, I trust you'll be in church on New Year's Day. Uh, we are having church both Sunday morning and Sunday night as normal. In fact, we're looking forward to a great time of prayer on Sunday night, believing that the best way to bring in the new year is to pray together as a church. But we need to put the Lord first as far as priority. And God blesses, and I trust that, that God will really bless you in these months ahead in this new year. I'd like to just bring to us the fact that sometimes we think of the fact that if we serve the Lord properly, things ought to go really well. And that if things don't go well, then there must be something wrong with our Christian life. Well, there, there's complexities in all of this. But many times, people that are walking by faith go through trials and don't fully see the thing that they're working toward immediately. And uh, that doesn't mean that God isn't mightily working in their life. We are to wait on the Lord. And again, I say, wait on the Lord, the psalmist says on a number of occasions. And you see that in Hebrews chapter 11, the great faith chapter. You've got the wonderful story all the way from Abel's faith down to Abraham and Moses and, and a number of the men that are heroes are listed. But then you have unnamed people listed that suffered. And uh, we read in verse 39, And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise, God having provided some better thing for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. These Old Testament saints uh, were believing God, willing to go through whatever God had for them, and they were looking forward to what we now know as the New Testament, and we have much greater opportunities, and we get to see God working in our lives. But we need to believe God even if at the moment we're not receiving what we are looking for in our life. Sometimes God has to allow disappointment to come in to get us to have the right motives, to get us to truly trust him, not to manipulate, but to really be in a place that we're resting in him and we want his perfect exact will, not what we think is his will. It's so easy, so easy to trip up that way. And as you think of this new year, you got an idea of what God wants and God will give you a vision and we need to pray, but we need to understand as we move toward the things that we believe God wants us to be accomplishing, that there will be trials and there will be disappointments and there will be setbacks. And God may almost kill the vision for a while before he gives it back so that we are in the right place of spiritual growth so that he can do the work that he wants. And I'm always encouraged as I look at these dear saints that we don't even know what their names are, but God said they have obtained a good report. They are known to God. They accomplish far more than we know. I believe that uh, some of the men that uh, we know of in the prophets and all may be referred to here. And uh, they didn't get to see Jeremiah, didn't get to see Jerusalem rebuilt. But his prophecies and his word has been a blessing for centuries. And God used him. And we need to be willing to trust God and not falter and not be thrown when it doesn't go like we want. And so let's commit this year to the Lord. He wants to do great things, I promise you that. You hear me say that all the time, but we need to allow him to do it his way in his time. And may God give us that kind of faith in, in the year 2023.